Kelly, good morning. Hi, Jesse. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So today I was thinking maybe we could talk about some of the changes that people are noticing in the 1811 release for the cataloging module. That sounds like a great idea. Okay. Um, so let's take a look. As some of you may have noticed, uh, there are some new um, user interface enhancements that you'll notice if you use the basic editor. Um, this is all part of a community effort to make the staff client responsive, which will be fantastic for libraries who uh, use the staff client while they go out to outreach events or maybe on the bookmobile or even roving reference. You know, um, you can do it right from your tablet, your mobile device, and you won't have to scroll anymore. That responsive theme will really, really help a lot of you out, especially those who are using it for outreach. That, that's exactly what I was thinking is you're pushing that card into the stacks and you're on that smaller tablet. This will be really, really helpful. Really, really. So um, why don't we take a look at the basic editor and shall we just open maybe the default framework? Sure. All right. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so for those of you who do use the basic editor, you'll notice that there are a few changes. Um, we have Kelly's uh, test system that's on 1805 open, so we can kind of look at um, some of the differences. So here you'll see, right now I'm, I'm about at 100%. Um, so if I go to 100% there, you can see now my editor text box is a little below the subfield, um, as you can notice right here. Um, we can see that caret, and then the text field, you know, climbs over a little bit here to the to the to the left. Now, if I would resize my screen here, it will allow me to um, essentially stay with me that whole time. So as I as I go and 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 resize, so if I was opening this on a mobile device, I would still be able to come in and and edit those items. Now. It does shrink the screen. It does move the text box a little bit. Um, you know, it puts it underneath. Um, so those are some of the changes that you will see. Kelly, should we look at 1805? Yes. So this is what we're looking at, the current version, 1811, which I know a lot of partners are on already. And here we go. Now we're on 1805. So you'll see if we do um, make a few changes, um, it's going to cut off the screen, so it won't follow it with us. If, if we do open this on the mobile device, you will have to use this bottom to scroll. Um, so it does keep them in fixed fields rather than shrink to the size of the screen that you're on. Right, so you would have to scroll across to get to that tag editor versus the newer way um, it, it, uh, the tag editor stays with it. Exactly, exactly. So again, this is a push on um, the community is making to uh, make the responsive um, theme for the staff client. So for those of you who are curious, um, the original bug was 20044, which was switch single column templates uh, to bootstrap grid. Bootstrap is a responsive theme um, for the cataloging module. And you can see as we go through here, Owen has introduced um, in this particular bug that there are several single column cataloging templates which need the bootstrap grid. And so that was pushed through to the um, 1811 release. Um, so those are some of the enhancements that you will notice. Now there has been a, a pretty active discussion going on on the Bywater um, partners list for individuals who are, you know, miss the, uh, how can we describe this, the, the stableness or the fixed fields um, of the um, older release. And so bug 23147, um, which introduces the changes from 20044, um, is causing an issue for some catalogers. So Owen um, has put in um, some CSS for libraries to go in and um, add to their intranet user CSS system preference. Jesse, can I just pause for a second? Yeah, of course. I just want to say that, again, this is why I really appreciate Coat being an open source community, that 
there are changes that we're progressing forward. However, there are things that people really don't want to change. And there is that possibility to, to maintain what they're, they're used to and they appreciate that. So I love the flexibility of being able to say, yep, I really appreciate the flexibility in this bootstrap theme works for my library. And others can say, it really doesn't. And then there can be a way for that to stay for those librarians. So again, my heart is just so full when I, when I see this community get together and say, well, let's make it happen both ways. Um, if I was standing next to you, I'd be hugging you because that is my exact same feeling. When I was just talking at ALA this weekend, I said, my heart is full <laughs> because people can do what, what they want you know this change may be a little different but look now they've introduced a way for you to kind of fit back into that that older look by adding the css to um to the internet user css system preference and that's why we're besties that's why we're besties so um kelly why don't we talk a little bit about you know if, the advanced editor just in case people might want to use that instead Absolutely. I think that the advanced editor is really, really enhanced since its birth at what, 318, 322? Yes. Yep. And huge strides have been made. And people might want to dip their toes into this advanced editor um, and just see if this works better for them or their workflow now. Absolutely. And, you know, the nice thing about, of course, the advanced editor is you have those great keyboard shortcuts. So you can jump right in. Um, you have the ability to build in macros. Um, so, for example, if you want to add in a macro for RDA fields, you know, every time you're creating um, a, a record, you can create that macro, run it, and then instead of having to type those in, you can add them easily. Um, there's a built-in Z3950 server, which also searches your local catalog. You know, that's a big difference from the basic editor Z39 search to the advanced um, in the advanced editor. Absolutely, there's a lot more flexibility, and I think visually, um, it's easier to see your entire record in one snapshot versus going tab to tab. So it, you know, it could work for a lot of users more than they maybe have tried. Absolutely. And remember, we have it, we can link this in the blog post, a great town hall we did. Um, we had Heather Hernandez, remind me what library, San Francisco. Maritime. Maritime um, Museum and Museum. Library. She, she led that town hall about authorities, and um, I think it's a great starting place. Yeah, absolutely. And I know we have a couple other blog posts out there. We can add those in, too. If you want to dive into checking that advanced editor out, we can add those in the blog post as well. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, Kelly, um, if anyone has questions, always know that um, if you're a partner, please submit a ticket. Um, or if you have more questions, please dive right into the community and we'd be happy to help. Absolutely. Great. Have a great day, Jesse. Have a great day, Kelly. Bye.